Welcome back to another episode of Diecast Resurrection. Today's project is a late 70s cab over. Check this thing out. Glee, 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 glee. Hey, what's this one say? Universal product 1978. Check it out. Half of the chrome's gone on the front bumper. Anywhere where this little truck could be handled, it's losing its chrome. So that'll make a big difference. And this thing is like, this truck's peeling its paint job like a reptile. So hopefully we can redo some cool retro striping like this, but we'll do it with paint. And get this thing looking a little bit better. The glass is falling down. See that? So it's a cheap casting, but it could be a cool little truck. Why don't we just get started on this today? We'll see where we end up. Who knows? Who knows what will happen? I don't even know what model and make this is. I haven't done any research. We're kind of just diving into a project, but I do, uh, I do love a good cab over. It's my preferred truck of choice on American Truck Simulators. Da ba da da, what you day, man? This is our big chrome interior. You know, the, you know, the front's looking pretty bare. So that's going to need a little bit of chrome touch ups. Chrome touch ups. There's our little truck body. It's got quite a few good details on it. I like the little grating piece right there. I got to figure out a plan for this, so maybe we'll get this stripping. In the meantime, so let me get set up for that. As long as she's loosened up, that's all we need. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, I'm pressing my luck, just kind of messing with this. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna finish this up and I'll be right back. So I've been trying to do a little bit of research, trying to figure out what kind of truck this is and what's got me stumped a little bit, right? We got these headlights that come through as the chrome pieces, which I would say are in the right spot. I'm thinking it's gonna make this truck look a lot better if we take off that second set of lights. So some people might hate that I'm about to do this, but uh, guess what? I want this thing to look sweet. Man, what a simple upgrade. Look at that thing. It's OMG, Becky. Look at that grill. For now, let's head to the spray booth. We'll get this thing painted up white. And then we'll come back and figure out what kind of cool retro stripes we're gonna put on this thing. All right, let's go do this.
kind of started on my paint here a little bit. I'm going for something fairly fairly simple. I didn't think I had enough meat right here to do my nice curvy line, so I'm going for a different going for a different design. It's still gonna be cool. I think. Something like that. So I want to make as much room for cool paint as possible. I want to use something like this today. It's the right kind of paint that's going to give this thing some pizzazz. Bink. So I've started masking this already to try to keep track of what my colors are going to be. That's going to be cool. I've kind of avoided all of our little windows using this paint scheme. The only part I don't really care for is we're overlapping these compartments and the door a little bit. But it should be a nice crispy line anyway, so if we can make this work here. In the past when I've worked on little semis like this, I've kind of left the back of the frame here in body color and usually I regret it. So maybe on this one we'll do it black today. This is the ultimate paint for using uh, on a, like a cab over paint job like this. So this is going to be pretty sweet. So I'm going to head to the spray booth and we'll try to put this on here and hopefully everything goes amazing. All right, let's look and see how we did here. I think this is gonna be another one of those paint jobs that's gonna excel if we use the little black vinyls as um, pinstripes. So it might look a little bit plain without them, but we'll see. More than likely gonna be using pinstripes. Oh, it's looking amazing already, look at it. Ooh, that's why I chose this fast bag green. It's got that gold flare to it. It's just like my truck on American Truck Simulator. Oh man, let's just take a second to appreciate that. Hell yeah, man, look at that thing. So she looking good. She's not looking as good as it was with, with the black pinstripes. So we're definitely gonna incorporate that into our package. I miss that black pinstriping so much, I'm gonna do it right now. I'm gonna kind of sit here quietly putting my little pinstripes back on. Yeah, she's looking real good, I think. I got a bunch of these humongous Subway sandwiches up here for running lights. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to paint them chrome first. And then I'll just do the tips with the orange so they'll be extra flashy. You know what I mean? It looks way better with the chrome, eh? Burr, burr. Hell yeah. Sweet. <laughs> burr. Thumbs up for Chinese castings, man. I'm feeling these things lately. Cool, she's looking pretty nice so far. I wanna go and put this in the oven for a bit. I'm gonna bake all this stuff on top and then we'll paint the back black, do some details, get these mud flaps looking like mud flaps. And then I think I'll be able to do a clear coat on the whole thing. Leave a thumbs up if you're feeling it. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling them cab lights. So I've been trying to get these parts looking a little bit better. They're not too bad. I think I uh, tried to match up some of these seams on our fuel tanks and stuff a little bit, but you know, like I said, there's been a pretty bad mismatch in uh, when the parts were casted together. They're kind of glued offset. So without going too crazy, I got them all pretty well cleaned up. So um, once I get these degreased a little bit, we'll head to the spray booth and spray some of this liquid chrome 
and uh, these should look brand new again. Got her windshield sanded down to 2000. So we're gonna give her a little dunk in some floor shine here. It's forking. And then once this dries, I'm gonna be good to go on doing an assembly. If that dries like that, I'll be happy. I'll be a happy camper. Well, there she be. I think this thing turned out really good. I like the look of it. That iridescent paint really sets off that vintage vibe. I'm even digging the footlong clearance lights. Hell yeah, man, right down to the white mud flaps. I like everything about this build. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you leave a like to support the channel. Say hello in the comments, and I will see you guys in the next one.